Standard third subject English topic the Bowman Town Musician. Hello students. So students, before starting the lesson, I would like to ask few questions. Which animals are helpful to human beings? Very good. Cow. Dog. Horse. Elephant. Donkey. Many more. So, students, I want you to describe this picture. Very good. There is cow, horse, goat, dog, cat, donkey, sheep, etc. So, students, these all are pet animals. My next question is Do you have a pet animal? In your house? Okay. So, when your pet animal gets old or weak, what do you do? Very good. You take care of them. You look after them. Students, what do you see in this picture? Very good. They all are musical instruments. The person who plays musical instruments is called as Very good musicians. So students, today we are going to learn an interesting chapter, The Berman Town Musicians. So let's get started. So students, there are four main characters in this lesson. The first one is Donkey. Dog. Third one is Cat. And fourth one is cock. Once there was a donkey who had worked long and hard for his master. Now he had grown weak and could not do much work. So his master began to treat him unkindly. He even began to starve the donkey. He wanted to save the money spent on the donkey's food. In the end, the poor donkey left the house. He believed he still had a good strong singing voice. So he decided to go to Berman town and earn his living as a town musician. Now students, once there was a donkey. Who worked very hard and worked for a long time for his master. Now the donkey had become old and weak. He could not do much work. So now his master was not treating him very well. The master was not giving him food to eat. The master don't want to spend money on donkey's food because the donkey was not able to do work. Donkey was very disappointed with his master and decided to leave the house of the master. He believed that he had a good singing voice. So he decided to go to 
Burman town and earn his rest of life as a town musician. The difficult words are Berman, a town in Germany, Star, forced to suffer or die from hunger, Unkindly, in a way that does not treat someone very well or does not consider someone's feelings. On the way, he met an old dog. He too had been kicked out of the house by the cruel master. The dog was afraid. How will I earn my bread? He said. Now students, on his way to the Burman, he met an old dog. The dog was also removed out of the house by his cruel master. The dog was afraid and said, How would he earn his bread? From where he will bring money and food? Dog was also old, so he was also not able to do much work. The difficult word is cruel. Cruel means causing pain to people or animals intentionally. Why you have a voice as good as mine, said the donkey. Let us both go to Burma and sing for the town's people. We shall be well paid there. So the two companions went on together. Now the donkey said to the dog that why was he afraid? He also had a good voice as the donkey had. For the donkey said that he and dog, they both will go to Burma and sing for the town's people and both will earn there. Now, both of them started traveling together. The difficult word is companion. Companion means a person or animal with whom one spends a lot of time or with whom one travels. Suddenly, they heard a cat moving sadly with tears in his voice. Why are you crying? They asked. Now, when the donkey and dog was traveling to Burma, they heard a cat crying. <coughs> donkey and dog asked the cat that why was he crying? How can I be happy knowing that my mistress is going to drown me? I'm old and would only like to sit by the fire and sleep. I cannot catch mice as I did before. So my mistress does not need me anymore. Where am I to go? Now students, the cat told that her mistress is going to kill her. Knowing that, how would the cat be happy? The cat is also old like the dog and donkey. She would only like to sit next to the foyer and sleep. She cannot catch mice as she was catching it before. So her mistress don't need her. Further cat said, where would he go now? The difficult words are, Mistress, the female owner of a dog, cat or other domesticated animal. Drown, to kill animals by submerging under water. With us to Burman. 
you have a sweet voice and you know night music you too can be a town musician now donkey said to the cat that he and dog they both are going to burman and told cat to come with them further donkey said that the cat had a good sweet voice and he can he also know the night music so the cat can also be a town musician now the three traveled together for some time till they came upon a farmyard they heard a cock's loud wailing when they made inquiries the cock told them my mistress is preparing a feast for her guest she has told the cook to kill me for the feast i'm so frightened so the donkey invited the cock too to join the band of musician now students the donkey dog and cat three of them started traveling together after some time they reached to a farmyard there they heard a cock's loud voice <laughs> when they asked the cock told them that his mistress is preparing a large meal for her <laughs> guest and the mistress has told the cook to kill the cock for the feast so the cock is frightened the donkey said to the cock that he can join the band of musicians students now the donkey started imagining that he had a band of musicians he himself dog cat are the band of musicians the difficult words are farmyard an area surrounded by or near farm buildings willing to make a long high cry because of pain or sadness inquiries an act of asking for information first a large meal Berman was still a long way away on the way they had to cross a forest as it began to get dark the cock flew on the top of the tree to look around for the shelter he saw an old house among the trees the four friends decided to rest there for the night the berman was quite far on their way they had to cross the forest as it began to get dark the cock flew on the top of the tree and look around for the shelter so that they can rest there for the night the cock saw an old house then the four friends the donkey dog cat and cock decided to rest there for the night it was quite dark by the time they reached the house through the window they saw some robbers pasting at a large table inside the animals had a clever idea why not give their first performance here the robbers would be so pleased that they would happily share their food with the four musicians they might even pay them for their performance now students by the time the four friends reached the house it was quite dark there was a window as you can see in the first picture animals saw from the window that the some people are having their large meal on a large table inside the animals got an idea they thought of giving their first performance here 
they thought that the people sitting inside will be so pleased and they will be so happy that they will share their food with them or with the four musicians the four musicians thought that the people might even pay or give them money for their performance now students the people having a large meal inside are none other than the robbers so the donkey placed his four legs on the window ledge the dog jumped on the donkey's back and the cat on the dogs the cock punched on the cat's head then all at once and all together they began to sing their wonderful song so students as you can see in the first picture the front two legs of the donkey are on the window ledge then the dog jumped on the donkey's back and the cat on the dog's back and then the cock sat on the cat's head then together they began to sing their wonderful song the difficult words are four legs one of the two front legs of the animal with four legs second one is ledge a narrow flat area like a shelf that sticks out from a building third one is perched to sit on strangely the music only frightened the robbers they only heard a terrible noise and saw a huge shadow cast by the animals together they sprang from the table and taking to their heels disappeared into the forest the four friends were puzzled but they gladly sat down at the table and had a hearty dinner then they put out the light and went to sleep the donkey on the straw in the yard the cat near the stove the dog on the door mat and the cock on the beam of the roof so students now listening to the music the robbers got frightened the robbers heard a bad or unpleasant noise and saw a huge shadow the robbers jumped from the table and began to run and disappeared into the forest the animals four friends were confused they were not able to understand what happened but then they happily sat down at the table and had a large and very satisfying dinner as you can see in the first picture then they off the light and went to sleep the donkey slept on the straw in the yard and the cat near the stove the dog on the door mat and the cock on the beam of the roof as you can see in the second picture the difficult words are terrible very unpleasant or bad second word is sprang move or jump suddenly third one is puzzled unable to understand gladly happily now the robbers had not gone very far the leader saw the house become dark and quiet so he sent a man to see if it was safe to go back to the house the robbers had kept all their stolen and riches in that house and wanted them back now students the robbers had not gone very far 
students in every class there is a monitor or the class leader in the similar way the robbers also have their leader the leader saw that the house became dark and quiet so he sent one of his men to see whether it was safe to go back to the house the robbers had to keep all their stolen jewelry money and other riches which they have stolen from the other people they had to keep it in that house and now they want it back the man went into the house on tiptoe he saw the cat's eyes and thought they were burning coals he tried to pick up one flight his candle but it frightened the cat the angry cat flew at him and scratched his face this frightened the robber he turned to run out of the house now students the man went into the house very quietly he saw the cat's eyes and thought they were burning coals he tried to pick up to light his candle but it frightened the cat the cat was angry now as you can see in the second picture the cat flew at the man and scratched his face the robber got frightened students as it was already dark and the angry cat flew at the robber and scratched his face so the robber got more frightened so he turned to run out of the house as he ran the dog on the door mat bit his leg hard he stumbled and fell on the donkey the donkey woken up suddenly gave the robber a smart kick with his hind legs and all this while the cock had been screaming cock a doodle do in his ears and flapping his wings around his head the robber nearly died of fright now students as the robber tried to run from the house the dog was at the door mat the dog bit his leg as you can see in the first picture the robber stumbled and fell on the donkey now students where was the donkey sleeping very good donkey was sleeping on the straw in the yard okay so the donkey woke up and gave the robber a kick with his leg as you can see in the second picture now the cock also started screaming in his ears and flapping his wings around his head now the robber was nearly to die of fright or the robber was very frightened now the difficult words are flapping to wave something especially wings when or as if flying stumble to hit your foot against something while walking and almost fall somehow he got back to his gang in a trembling voice he told them that the house was full of monsters and deadly creatures who bit and scratched and kicked and attacked you in the dark now the robber went back to his gang he told his gang that 
there are many monsters and deadly creatures in that house who bite me, scratched me and kicked me and attacked me in the dark. Students, who bite the robber? Very good, dog. Who scratched the robber? Cat. Who kicked the robber? Very good, donkey. And who attacked the robber? Cock. The difficult word is trembling. To shake slightly because you are frightened. So the robbers never went back to the house. The four friends found enough money in the house to live on there in happiness and comfort. That is why the musicians never went to Burman. So students, the robbers never went back to the house. They thought the house is full of monsters and deadly creatures. The four friends found enough of money in that house to live in happiness and comfort. That is why the musicians never went to Burman. Students, now you can see the donkey in the picture. On donkey's back, there is a dog. On dog's back, there is the cat. And on top, the cock. So, this is the picture or, or the statue which is made in the Burman town in Germany. So, students, what value do we get from this lesson? Very good. The value we get from this lesson is we should always believe in ourselves. We should have faith in ourselves as the donkey had. No matter how old you are, the donkey believed in himself that he can do. He had a good voice and he can do it. It's exercise time now. Answer the following. The first question is, who were the musicians? Very good. The donkey, the dog, the cat and the cock were the four musicians. Why did the donkey have to leave his master's house? Very good. The donkey had to leave his master's house because the master began to starve him. Were the musicians from the Burman town? Very good. No, the musicians were not from the town of Burman. So students, it's homework time now. So students, your homework is write an imaginary conversation among any two musicians living in the house in the forest. Now students, you can take the donkey and cat or the dog and cat or uh, the cock and donkey, okay, etc. So it depends upon you. You can write a conversation, for example, you can talk about their masters. The two musicians are talking about their master, how they treat them, okay. The next one is about their favorite food about their interest in the music and about their likes and dislikes. In the puzzle given below, find the names 
of the domestic animals. The first letter of each word is given. Friends, I hope you have understood the lesson. Thank you.